Hi everyone, Ray here with another Awakening Short. Um, thank you for listening. Thanks for all the all the interest in this series. Thanks for all the listens and the likes and the subscribes. Thank you for the support on Patreon and the donations. I really appreciate it. Um, but mainly I'm just really gratified that this series of shorts seems to be uh, striking a chord and helping people. And this one today is about relationships and really about how everything is relationships. And this is probably going to trigger some folks, just to warn you. Um, many years ago, I was giving what's called a personal law seminar to a room full of people, like 30 or 40 people. Now, that seminar personal law is really effective at helping people to discover their most negative limiting beliefs. And that varies, of course, from person to person. So in that room, I had like 30 to 40 different personal laws to work with. And as I'm going around the room, the energy is getting really super intense with lots of tears and huge sighs of relief, joyful laughter. As I worked with each person one-on-one -on -one to find, heal, and integrate each one's core negative. So I'm totally into it, really absorbed by the process, flowing with the energy of the room, and really doing more personal law work in a single night than I would normally do in a week. And because of that, I think, something happened. I had... I, like a major ep epiphany, I saw that it is all relationship, everything. I mean, everything is relationship. All core negatives are relationship problems. All human problems are relationship problems. All personal growth issues come down to a relationship problem. All spiritual issues are a relationship problem. Birth trauma, infancy trauma, school trauma, religion trauma, self-sabotage, death urge, repression of the feminine, parental disapproval syndrome, even past life issues all come down to a relationship problem. That's why forgiveness is such a powerful healer. The only way to heal a relationship is through forgiveness. And the only thing that keeps a relationship unhealed is refusing to forgive. And every unhealed relationship that you, you choose to hold on to will manifest a negative outcome in your reality. And that relationship does not have to be between you and another person. It could also be between you and yourself, between you and God, the ultimate parental authority figure, right? Actually, very few people have a relationship with God. What they have is a relationship with themselves, which they then project onto God. So forgiving yourself Healing your relationship with yourself is important, just like you've read in all the books. The problem is, a lot of people give lip service to that, but they don't actually do it. They, they know, they've read in books that you should forgive yourself, and so they say the words. But deep, down deep in their bones, they don't really believe it. It doesn't take. And that is where ordinary human relationships come on, come in. Um, they give us something easier to practice with. Relationships that we know whether or not we've forgiven, that we can't fool ourselves around like we can when it comes to forgiving ourselves. So you practice with these ordinary relationships and get immediate feedback that you can see. And then that lets you get ready for healing and being truthful about your relationship with yourself. So the ability to maintain basic human relationships is a key indicator of personal 
and even spiritual maturity. It, it shows that you have mastered forgiveness. If your past is littered with people you can't forgive, people you still carry anger against and hold resentment towards, chances are your current relationships are only a matter of time away from falling apart as well. Chances are all your relationships are equally tainted, including your relationships with money, the government, the system, your relationship with time, with your body, etc., etc., etc. Everything is relationships. And uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, it seems that a lot of people these days run away from the hard work of forgiveness by becoming Instagram influencing personal growth teachers or spiritual teachers or psychic advisors or healers or whatever else. So you have people whose lives are littered with unhealed relationships giving advice to other people about how they should live. And the advice they give can even be good, correct, useful. Because it's always easier to see what someone else's problem is than our own. And it's certainly easier to help someone else work on their shit, especially if it helps us avoid working on our own shit. But no matter how correct, good, or useful that advice might be, there's an underlying current that taints everything. Now, am I saying you have to be perfect to be a teacher or healer? No, absolutely not. It's perfectly fine to be a work in progress. Of course, that means that you are, in fact, working on yourself while you work with your clients, not using your client to avoid working on yourself. Thing is, is that work cannot be avoided forever. Sooner or later, the universe comes calling, demanding a balancing of accounts from the unhealed healer. So I hope this was useful. Um, and thank you again for all the views and the likes and the subscribes and the support. And uh, we'll see you again with the next edition of Awakening Shorts. Love you all. Thank you very much.